Alright guys, welcome back, and today I'm reacting to Moon Knight Episode 6, which, according to Marvel, is the season finale, not series finale, so it, I, it's kind of implied, somewhat confirmed that there's going to be a season 2, which would be awesome, so hopefully that's happening, because this is actually the shortest episode of the entire series so far, at only 44 minutes. The, all the other ones were like over 50 minutes then I think episode 1 was like 48 minutes but still this is the shortest episode of the series which is kinda concerning because there is so much that needs to happen in this episode we left off with the death of Steven and Mark making it to the field of wreaths but some tells me he's not gonna stay there long because at some point this episode we're probably gonna have to free Conchu and maybe rescue Steven I'm not sure but let's check it out Back. Back in the tomb. Uh oh. He's gonna unleash Omit. I'm sorry it had to be this way. Mark Spector. Stephen Grant. Whoever else might be in there. Jake Lockley? I mean, he's gonna come back, obviously, but... Oh, she has the compass so she can follow her now, okay. Oh my god! The staff's gotten bigger! It's got like an axe head on it now, the, the cane. Wait, what? Excuse me? Tower at We warned you, dumbasses! <laughs> like, Conchu! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> Godzilla! Your scales lack balance. <laughs> I understand. I had hopes. My penance might correct my imbalance. Oh, his scales are unbalanced. As you wish. Ooh. Nice. Can't you? Let us purify the souls of Kyle and then the world. Oh no. Conju! Alright. How are we gonna get Mark out of the field of reeds? So I get to go on to eternal peace and he just stays lost in the sand forever? No, I'm not good with that. Wait! Think about this! Whoa! It's left that easily? Steven! I'm here to bring balance. You speak of balance. These gods look so good. Steven! I could protect you. 
Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Steven! Steven! Yes! You came back. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I get a hold of those beasts there. It was not that old. You never learn. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, look out. Um, oh, man. <laughs> Yes! Oh, can't you felt him? Yes! Yeah! Awesome! Yeah, we haven't seen Moon Knight for two episodes. Like, we haven't had Moon Knight in full costume since episode 3. Mark Spector, I need your help. Uh, just curious about something. How's this whole new arrangement? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, you know what? I think you can take this one, Mark. Hurry up, idiot! Whoa! Tourette. Tourette! <laughs> Is Layla Tyrant's avatar now? Oh no. Judge everyone. Oh no. Oh my god. She's literally just eating the souls! Huh! Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Oh, let's go, Conchu. Oh. Oh. No, man. That is sick. <laughs> uh, Steven, I love Steven so much. Man, let's go. This is awesome. Yes, Steven! Yes! Let's go! Mr. Knight is a badass! Let's go! Finally! Yes! Nice! 
<laughs> he like dusted off his suit. <laughs> nice. I would love like if we do get a season two, like have Layla and Mark like team up like this throughout the entire season. That would be awesome. Ooh. Come on, Mark. Oh, oh wow, what a shot. The guy's just towering overhead. What the hell? What the hell? <gasps> Jake! Man, that transition is so cool. Is he dead? Did he kill him? Like... Oh! He's still alive. He's moved. Oh, there we go. Wow. You want them dead? Do it yourself. Now release us. As you wish. No. Oh no. So, so what this is what reality looks like. Wait, what imagination is very real. What no? What no? For how long? How long is a piece of string? What no? His shoes are bloody. Yeah, I don't don't think you know as much as you think The you glass know. in the shoes? Well it is tempting to accept your diagnosis back. We'd rather go save the world. Latest gators. Latest gators! The hell? What? Mm. Can't believe it worked. Uh. <laughs> what? No. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Oh. Harrow. Yeah, that's it's also right. <gasps> Wait, is it Jake? Oh man, it's Jake. I know it. Yeah, it has to be. Okay. 
Man! Um, okay? <laughs> so... I don't know what to make of that, really. But yeah, like, we just... Throughout the entire season, we got just glimpses of Jake Lockley. And right there at the end, I mean, he was the one that defeated Harrow. But we never truly got to see him. But then, like, as soon as he... Oh, like... Because he, he is a cab he's a cab driver in the comics. And as soon as he he like opened that door, I was like, oh wait. And then he kicked the wheelchair and like he's like Jake's like I think is gonna be like the more aggressive identity. But like he was saying how there was someone close to him, and like Mark and Steven don't seem to be aware of Jake. And he's he's like the third identity that they're kind of unaware of, which is interesting. But yeah, he seems to be the more violent and aggressive one that would, like, actually kill people. Because as you saw there, Mark refused to kill Harrow. So, Conchu went to Jake to kill Harrow. So, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Because Mark and Steven wouldn't even really know. Because they're not really aware of Jake. So, Conchu, when Mark refused to kill him, and we know Steven obviously won't kill Harrow... He went and he got Jake to kill Harrow. Like, so I wonder if, if this is like setting up season two, like, if like Jake would be the villain. Like, Jake and Conchu would be the villain next season. And like, Mark and Steven would have to try and like, kind of like fight themselves in a way in order to stop Conchu. Yeah, that would be a really great dynamic, just Mark and Steven having to try to figure out how to... just, like, how to fight back against Jake and stop Conchu. Like, that would be really cool, actually. I love the fights in this one, though. The fights in this one were my favorite of the season. Like, I mean, Ahmed and Conchu didn't really do much. They were just kind of, like, awesome, this looking awesome in the background. But yeah, like, Mark and Layla teaming up well, Mark, Steven, and Layla teaming up to fight uh, Harrow was really cool. I loved that. Really, the first time we saw him was episode 5, we believe, when uh, that one time when he had the cut on his nose, and he kind of like, Oscar Isaac kind of had a uh, different kind of tone. Well, I'm pretty sure that was Jake Logley, because he was a lot more aggressive toward Dr. Harrow. But yeah, I loved this series. Like, this... I think is my new favorite Marvel series behind Loki because Loki was my favorite I think I like this more than Loki but they're pretty close they're pretty close it's just Loki was just so fun and this just was just super just the story was great and it had a lot more of the serious moments but like I love them both I don't I honestly I don't know which one I'd like more right now but I'm leaning, maybe this is just recency bias, but I'm kind of leaning Moon Knight, honestly. Because I think I think it was like Marvel like tweeted like, yes, tune into the Moon Knight series finale. But then they deleted that tweet and changed it to season finale. Which, and then I, I saw like a couple little like, little like spots that said like the, se the season finale. So that implies there's going to be a season two. So I'm excited for that. One more thing is just Oscar Isaac in this show was incredible. He was just beyond fantastic in this show. Like, especially episode 5. Like, he was so good in that. And just, like, the way he was able to, like... Just the way he acted when he was, like, kind of in the confused state and the way he switched between personalities was just so good. So, yeah, that's going to do it for my reaction to the Moon Knight Season 1 finale. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, latest gators. Gators.